Are you ready for a tale? A tale as old as the hills themselves? They say the mountain is alive. It takes breaths from all that is living. The trees, the flowers, the grass. But the mountain is also unforgiving and takes what it wants. It gives back nothing, not of its own choosing. It gives back only what escapes. But why, Father? Long ago, the evil spirit fought the good spirit. The good spirit lost and fled west towards the ocean. The evil spirit hid here in the mountain and never left. The white man believes the evil spirit showed themselves in 1846. The white man is wrong. Evil spirit came long before they arrived. And while the evil spirit had quieted for many years, they did not go away. They slept. We'll be glad. Great. Good girl. We almost didn't make it. Blizzard's bad. Ration should last us in winter. Jacob? Elizabeth?
I'm kind of digging my badge. It makes me feel important. Were you excited when you got your badge? Well, certainly gets me in the building. And after seven years of higher education, I also consider it my get out of student loans card. Wow, seven years? I only went to school for two years, yet we have the same badge. Staff Bright did give me 90 days to try you out and see if you're worthy of working here on a permanent basis. I wouldn't worry about it, Eve. In actuality, everything constantly changes on a geologic scale. And on my bathroom scale. Maybe you should try switching to something healthier than burgers. Mm. Well, that'd certainly be good for my cholesterol. But I'm a carnivore, not a herbivore. Every now and then I need to eat something red and bloody. Reminds me I'm at the top of the food chain. Yeah. Well, I'm a yogurt whore. Reminds me that I don't like to kill animals. Then why do we have incisors? <laughs> I'd like to see you chase a deer and take it down with your incisors. I don't have to. We've evolved. I can use tools. Well, here. Why don't you use one of these tools? I thought the volcano was dormant. It was, and now it's not. Huh. Looks like we have the potential for an explosive caldera. A caldera? From the Latin word, calderia, means cooking pot. Sometimes it's referred to as the English word cauldron. Witchin? What's in it? Ignobrite, rhyolite, tough, and other igneous rocks. It's quite a brew. And when the gases are under high pressure, which they tend to? Yeah, a massive explosion of magma. So please make sure you take your pets with you, as well as any necessary medications, and shut off any gas lines. The volcano eruption is expected any time from next week on. Again, this is not a test. Please stay tuned in for more news on the evacuation. We will now return to our regularly scheduled programming. Hi, Mindy. You okay? Yeah. I just... Going through everything is all. Never easy just packing up and leaving, I know. It's just stuff. Well, most of it anyway. It's <laughs> <laughs> cute. Mm. Well, look at this. Oh, hey, go Mountaineers. Yeah. Class of night. Oh, don't say it now. People will <laughs> think we're old. <laughs> Uh, hey, let me get that for you. Thanks, Mike. You, um, you move your family out yet? Uh, Rita moved out a few months ago. It, uh, didn't take a volcano warning for her to go. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, uh, at least she and Dylan will be safe. Yeah. You know, I'm glad to see you're heeding the warning. You know, I, I wish I could say the same for Ben. My dad is how he is. Mindy, you know, when Mount St. Helens went off, 57 people lost their lives, and a lot of those were people who refused to leave. I wish I could help you. My dad is more stubborn than my daughter is. At least she listens to me some of the time. Well, I can imagine so, but I need to try and at least talk some sense into him. Now, by staying behind, he endangers the lives of our first responders, our rescue teams. You're just asking me to do something that can't be done. He doesn't change his mind on anything. I need you to at least try. Now, I talked to him and he won't listen to me. I figure since you're family, you have a better shot. Some shot. He hasn't returned my phone calls in 10 years, Mike. I, 
maybe it's time you paid him a visit. Maybe you're right. All right, thanks, Mindy. I could get that for you. You know, I really appreciate you checking up on us and all, but don't you have some more important things you should be handling? I think Deputy Tisdale's got it under control, at least I hope. And you and your dad are my last stops before I head down the mountain. Everybody wants the old cadre to be safe. I got it. What is she? What? Sorry I couldn't get here earlier. Blue Betty doesn't do so well over 60 miles per hour. What are you doing here? I'm here to help. You're not supposed to be here. You are driving right into disaster. It's dangerous. <sighs> not as dangerous as Blue Betty, huh? She's harmless. Well, maybe if you spent your money on state school instead of art school, you'd have two new cars by now. True, but now I can draw a really pretty picture of her. Plus, she's slow, so it saves me money on speeding tickets. Right, Sheriff? That sounds logical to me. Mm. Whose side are you on? Ryan, come say hi to my mom and Sheriff Denton. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. You must be the comic book collector I've heard so much about. Normally, I don't like to reveal my true identity, but yeah, that's me. <laughs> Howdy. Hmm. Howdy. The lawman in these parts, son. Let me give you two pieces of friendly advice. What's that? Don't say howdy. And two? You watch out for these two ladies. They are dangerous with a capital D. Girls, let's get off this mountain. Devil's Peak don't wait for nobody. And that includes Ben. You hear me? You and Grandpa are talking again? is expected any time starting next week. All residents are urged to relocate to Prophetstown. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, will be handling the evacuation. For more information, please contact local offices. Yeah. Our girl acting up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is a little bit cranky. But then, if you ask me, not much more so than a lot of the women in town at the Garden Club. Well, you would know. You've been up there staring at her for how many years now? Uh, more than I care to remember. Why don't you get down from there, Lou? You can get over to the safe zone. Hell, get over to Prophetstown and get some of Carol Ann's famous apple pie. We'll take it from here. Nah, no, nah, I think I'll just sit tight a little bit longer. You know, stick with my old girl here, Mount St. Barbara. Nobody calls it that anymore, Lou. It's Devil's Peak. I never did like that touristy name. Well, it's a lot cooler for a guy to say he climbed Devil's Peak, don't you think? Well, if you say so. <laughs> She'll always be Barbara to me. You know, and lately she's getting to be a lot like you, getting real ornery. Puffing and puffing, no apparent reason. There, there, Barbara. Now, 
Don't you listen to him. He doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know you like I know you. I know that sometimes you just, uh, well, you just want to take a little smoke, that's all. <laughs> it ain't the smoke I'm worried about. What are your readings? This can't be right. What? Oh! Mmm. Mmm. Let me try yours. Sheriff! We've got to go. Okay. We've got to go. Okay. Please proceed through the town by the designated evacuation routes. You will be given further instructions. Please proceed. Does Dale come in? Go ahead, Sheriff. I checked in with the Roberts and they're clearing out. Lou's keeping an eye on the mountain. I'll be back to the station soon. Sounds good. You can deal with the FEMA folks and the red tape. You know, you haven't signed my boot yet. Never heard of anybody signing a boot. You get a cast on there and I'll break out my Sharpie. I'll write you a real love letter. <laughs> okay, boss. You know, maybe you shouldn't play rodeo clown in your off time. Yeah, maybe. Remember, you're in Northern California now, Pilgrim. I need to get me one of the map things. <laughs> Copy that. Denton out. Rodeo clown. You need to get out of here. Really, after all these years, that's all you have to say? Yep. Haven't you heard? Yes, Dad. We have at least another week before it's going to blow. <laughs> well, then, I guess I got time for a hug. Come here, Nikki. Give your gramps a hug. <laughs> Oh, you are just as pretty as ever, Bob. <laughs> Woo! You just uh, haven't changed a bit. You're all right. I doubled. Well, I knew you'd grow. Too bad you weren't here to see it. Good to see you, too. You ready? We need to leave. Why don't you and I go and have some tea, leave your mom and uh, your friend out here to uh, talk about us? He serious? You said I had to wait before that damned thing blows. I mean about leaving Ryan and I out here. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. You and mom don't have to be so nasty to each other. No. I reckon we don't. Cheers. Mom did what she thought was right. 
de aquí. I remember coming here. You always had a pack of gum in the top shelf of that cabinet, which I can never reach. <laughs> well, I felt like a train. I used to stack up everything in, the, in place just to get at that gum. Well, you can reach it now. Go on, have a piece. Just one? Oh, no, it's been too long. Have as many as you like. You used to make me sing or do a trick before you give me a piece. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, you still got it. Yep. Okay. Uh, place is the same as I remember. Uh. Except this. You have an iPad? I sure do now. I also tumble on Tumblr, Reddit, and Tweet. Wow. <laughs> I guess you can teach an old dog. All right, that's it. I'm going to get me an app. I'm going to teach you some math. <laughs> you know, I would love to follow old Ben's friends on one condition. What's that, Tweety Bird? You follow me and Mom out of here. Is that the best offer you got? Or we can just sit here and talk till our fire death by volcano. Because I'm not leaving here without you. Really? Really. What in the name of Stephen Hawking's is she doing? Hey! You've got to evacuate! The safe zone is 10 miles out. Then you better get going. It's okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional photographer and a blogger. Yeah, well, I'm a volcanologist. A what? I'm telling you, this volcano is gonna erupt. He's not kidding. Right. Listen, don't worry, just a few more shots and I'm out of here. Welcome to the Darwin Awards. And in the natural selection category, the loser is her. you're bringing? No. Personal belongings, no. Family photos. All stored right here. What about mom? In the cloud. Forget it. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom.
Pardon. Sheriff? Go ahead, Lou. <sighs> Sheriff, I think I spoke a little too soon. Our old girl here, she's, uh, I don't know, she's developing some black lung or something. She's spitting up more smoke than I've seen ever. All right, I'll check in with Dr. Stevens. Yeah, okay, roger that. Lou, next time I hear from you, you better not be in that damn tower. I'm gonna come up there and drag you out by your ear. Do you promise? I'm serious, you read me? Yeah, it's a big 10-4. How did I get stuck back here with you? Just ignore him, Ryan. It's okay. He's used to it. Ignoring people's what he does best. Still a wonderful driver, I see. Sorry about that. I saw something in the road. Yeah, or in your head. I think I saw a squirrel. Sheriff? Sheriff, yeah, this is uh, Ranger Danger here. I'm getting ready to leave. I mean, our girl is shake, rattle, and roll. Out. What the? Sheriff. Yeah, we got, we, we have this, uh, Nate. <laughs> Hold on!
hold on a second. Just please, hold on a second. Sheriff, go ahead. Ranger McGee was in the tower when it blew in. He didn't make it. Jesus, Lou? What's going on down there? Uh, it's a madhouse. Have you seen Minnie Roberts or her family? No, not yet. And what about uh, Dr. Stevens and his assistant? Nothing. Are you on your way back yet? Negative, not until I know everyone's safe. They may be somewhere around here already. There's no sense in going on a wild goose chase. You just continue with the evac. And mind the old folks, make sure they get on the buses. Yes, sir. I'm on it. You just get back here soon. Betting out. out of town as soon as possible. All residents need to be at least 10 miles outside of town. Contact your local law enforcement offices for more information. This evacuation is now mandatory. Repeat, this evacuation is now mandatory. Oh, mother Do you know where you're going? I know this mountain better than I know myself. Well, at least there's no sign of lava. Well, I can say one thing. You're always good at keeping up. Careful. I might interpret that as a compliment. I might have meant it as one. I said I might. Yeah. Tisdale, come in. Sheriff, go ahead. You get any word from the Roberts family or Dr. Stevens? Nothing yet. How's everything going down there? Uh, people are just crowding into town, hoping this thing ends so they can get back to their houses. Let's hope they still have houses. Sheriff out. can't be here. This area is being evacuated. Hello? Tisdale, come in. Tisdale, you got any other reports of any uh, hikers or campers up here on this mountain? There's nothing in the logs. What's up? I don't know. I guess I'm just seeing stuff. Well, the director of FEMA's riding my ass. I'm not getting off this mountain, so I'm sure everyone's safe. You handle things down there. Blast must have knocked out the cell towers. We've got to warn the town. I think they already.
already know. No, that was just the initial blast. There'll be more tremors. And according to the readings today, the next eruption will be much stronger. Stronger than anything I've ever seen. It's a Palean eruption. A Palean eruption. What? A super eruption. The gases are trapped, building up an extraordinary amount of pressure. The next blast will be catastrophic. <coughs> well, I think they're I think they're evacuating already. Not where they need to be. They're going only about 10 miles out. The safe zone for this blast will be at least 20. Come on, come on, okay. come on. Okay. Come on. I'm sorry I brought you out here. I never imagined anything like this was going to happen. It's okay. It's good you brought me, though. Yeah? Why is that? Because I have superpowers. Oh, really? Yeah. What kind of superpowers do you have? It's a secret. Can I at least watch you change outfits in a phone booth sometime? Sure. I can make that happen. Okay, well, what about now? Like, like can you burn my name into a rock with your eyes? That's your superpower? No. A bad somersault? No. My superpower is making you laugh. <laughs> Come on, you two. Keep up. Where are you going? Problem? No, I swear I saw something. You two go ahead! Dad, come on! Go on, I'm slowing you down. Dad, I'm not leaving you. Climb that tree! I gotta get to the car. <laughs> Wait, no, you keep it shut. I'm going. No, if your mom comes back here and you're not here, she'll freak. Then she'll freak. No, it is not safe. I know, and my mom's out there. What the hell were those things? God only knows. Have you seen anything like that before? No, in all my years up on the mountain, I've never been acquainted with anything. Remotely resembling those things? I'm kidding. Makes me wonder. Wonder? What do you mean? Well, that volcano that swallowed a lot of people back in the 1800s. Some say. Some say what? Never mind. Uh -huh. Let's just get to the. Get to the kids and get to the cabin. Tell me they made it, right, Dad? They made it. That's fine. It's not even that far off. Trust me, they're there and they're fine. For now, we gotta get the hell out of here. There's, that lava's coming down the mountain fast. Well, just relax. I'll relax when we find the kids. <laughs> oh, God! 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 Oh, oh, oh my God!
my calculations? God, what? Only a miracle can save us? I don't know about miracles or God. <laughs> but hey, 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 if it's your thing, it's your thing. So, uh, um, do you, you like working at the Institute? You know, I, I think, I think I could get you hired on full time. You know, benefits, 401k, free cake on your birthday. <laughs> free cake. Free cake. <laughs> what are those? Hey! Hey! <coughs> Let's pick up the pace. That way. Don't wait for me! Run! Run! Things? Hello? People? What we have here are zombies. Walking freaking dead. So here's a tip. Don't get bit or you become a zombie. But they were oozing orange goo. Yeah. I've been to horror conventions. I've seen a pig get mutilated by Scotty McDaniels in Fresh and Bio. I've seen a Klingon and a Stormtrooper get married. To each other! But that? That was some creepy ass- Okay, I think- I think we should just stay here for a bit and just wait until those things clear the area. Clear the area? They're zombies! They could just wander! Well, what about the volcano? I... Uh, I... Okay, the ash cloud is moving that way towards the other side of the mountain. What if the wind decides to change direction? Then we suffocate in a giant black cloud of death. Okay, can we just try and keep it positive for a minute? Positive? What's positive about being chewed on by lava zombies? Dad, whose cabin is this? This is Eddie Tramer's place. Skish is a squirrel he took off from the mountain as soon as he heard the warning. What What are you doing? I'm trying to tap into his Wi-Fi. And this way I can send a sheriff's message where we're at. Where are you, young lady, you shouldn't even be here. You should be... At school, but not here! If they leave Grandpa alone to die, he would have stayed behind if it weren't for me. Lord knows you can't convince him, not with your sassy attitude. Don't! Don't sass me! Fine! Alright. Should have known. That connection's out. Your Wi Fi is not gonna receive a feed. And where does it go? It's outside. The blast must have knocked this out. Can you fix it? Yes. Stevens. <laughs> they ate him. <laughs> what? Hey. Oh, we're just waiting. I think you could get off that thing now. Shush. 
Or maybe you can't. Maybe you can't stop surfing the web. Maybe you're an internet addict. <laughs> well, why don't you stage an intervention? Don't start. No, no, it's a great idea. You know, you can gather up all the family and all my friends, tell them that I have an internet addiction. Why some soulless things are trying to eat us alive? And then after everyone leaves, <laughs> and I'm totally embarrassed, I move away, forever disowning everyone, dying alone? Yeah, it worked so well for Meredith. Why? Well, let's just try it again. I'll drink to that. She was my mom. I was trying to help. Yeah, somehow. Hey, Grandma had a drinking problem and Mom was trying to help. Fine! And I'm trying to help now! I'm trying to tweak my followers. Son of a word, where we're at! Really? How many followers do you have? Two. Here, um, let me help you with that. you make something with this? I suck at whittling. Have Grandpa do it. You're the artist. Nothing I've done is worth anything. That's so not true. Everything you've made is it's worth more than you'll ever know. Tisdale, you should see this. Sheriff, Sheriff about the volcano, in. Dr. Stevens is... Tisdale, go ahead. Sheriff, we got a tweet from uh, Ryan Jacobs. Says he and the Roberts are held up in Arnie Tramer's cabin. Well, what the hell are they doing up there? Says they're trapped. Says they saw some kind of... Volcano monsters, yeah, I, I know. Well, they said zombie, but okay. How do you know? Well, I think I saw one of them. Listen, you stay put. I'll round everybody up down here. Wait, Sheriff. Uh, I could join you. I could lasso up a few folks, cut the time in half. No, with one leg, cowboy? No, no, uh, you're my point man. I need you to put on your pointy hat and start pointing. Sheriff. Well, Sheriff, but I could help you. Tisdale, absolutely not. That's an order. You stay put. Sheriff. What, what? Dr. Steven said that wasn't the main blast. The volcano's a lot stronger than you originally thought. The safe zone has to be at least another 10 miles out. 10 miles, you're 10 sure? 10 miles. Tisdale, come in. <laughs> Sheriff, you're breaking up. Repeat. Tisdale, get everyone out of town now. Evacuate them to Prophetstown. Do you copy? Sheriff, I can't hear you. Damn it. What else did Steven say? The wind that blows the top half of the mountain's gonna come off. It already blew and we're still here. That wasn't the main blast, at least from what he was saying. Eve, I hate to put you in danger, but I'm not leaving this mountain without the Roberts family. Hey, I'm gonna head up to Tramer's cabin, help that now. I'm right with you, Hoss. No, just keep everything going as planned. He ordered you to stay put. It's crazy. Especially with your leg. Hey, I can still kick your ass with one leg. If you say so. I say so.
Ah, good news. Sheriff's on his way. Well, let's just hope that the curse of Tom Passage isn't true. Curse? What curse? Dad, it's enough. N no, I want to know. Cherokees say that this mountain is cursed. Since way back before even the people died at Donner Pass back in the uh, winter of 1846. Oh, the Donner Party. I know this story. How'd they die? Well, some by starvation, some by cold. Uh, only 45 of the 81 pioneers survived. Many of them uh, resorted to cannibalism in order not to starve. They ate the old and eight infants. And over the years, it's affected all the rest of the settlers that's come here, either the curse or the mountain. The mountain spit forth disease, despair, and insanity. And anything that was good and noble, the mountain twisted to its own evil way. It made life hard, not only for those people who tried to cross, but for the trees, the animals. It let what it wished grow in its soil to cover itself like a blanket against those who would discover its secrets. Pools boiled with the souls of those trapped within. And the mountain destroyed what it wished. With no mercy, they say even birds who flew over would sometimes drop in flight. Their hearts stopped. fear, like the great shaman. The evil spirit could take possession of souls, bring back life like a budding flower for those who perished. Loved ones who had lost would return, only different. What they brought back was no way good. Some said the souls of the dead glowed red like lava in the heart of the mountain, waiting to return to the living, that they only needed a push from the mountain. And whenever they got the calling, death would follow. It is said that every generation has a caretaker of the mountain, someone who looks over it, it's Watcher. Why doesn't the Watcher chase the evil away? Only someone of great strength can defeat the evil forces and free the Watcher so the good spirits can return. Who is the Watcher? Mike. Is that Yes, but there's things out there. I know, I saw one. That lava's moving fast. You gotta get to the fire tower. Fire tower. I'm gonna warn the people in town and I'll get better reception there. Step away from the vehicle. Stay behind me. You have to shoot for their heads. You gotta be kidding me. Get back in the cabin. Everybody back in the cabin.
throw them away. When I do, all of you just run like hell in your car. That's your plan? That's suicide, right? Tell him! No, no, he's right. You take my cruise and get the kids back to town, I'll cover you. No, 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 no. You go with them. Keep them safe in case you want any more of the no. damn things out there. Besides, if my baby is driving, none of us is safe. Dad. Tizzle, behind you! Go, 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 go! Is everyone all right? Yeah, yeah. Get in the fire tower now! Go, 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 go! go. Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, stay right here. I'm going to go up and check the tower for Brady, all right? Stay right there. Schuler, come in. This is Denton. Do you copy? Schuler, come in. This is Denton. Do you copy? Go ahead, Sheriff. You gotta move people 20 miles out, okay? The blast zone is now 20 miles. Do you copy? 20 miles? Yes, 20 miles. Get those people moving now. Schuler, do you copy? Everybody, run! Get up on the tower with the sheriff. Come on, uh, I'm right down to here. Run! All right. Come on. Everyone, top of the tower. Come on, move. Get up there. Get up there. Move. Oh my God, Dad! Get him with this. Hit him the with that, Sonny. Where are you going? There's nothing we can do.
Sheriff Denton, do you read? Uh, is Burger Barn still standing? Sure is, Sheriff. That's too bad. I hate Burger Barn. We're glad you're still standing. Other than a few downed trees and a couple of wrecked cars, I'd say we dodged a bullet. Copy that. When I was one hell of a ride. <laughs> Dad! So mountain she's like me, she got a few cracks in it and I stuck it out in a narrow cave. Oh, ben, you wily old coot, you know you're gonna outlive us all, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon <laughs> that if I ever have to get stuck again, I'd like to have some family with you know? What the? What? Look at that, you got the hair is just the same. I had you with me the whole time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wait, hold it. I'm not totally damaged goods here. Yeah, well, you've looked a hell of a lot better. Yeah? Well, who asked you? And that is the tale of the mountain. Ah! <laughs> Sometimes I worry that Nightwolf takes a little bit too much pleasure from scaring the children. I never. It's they who like being scared. <laughs> Besides, it's the only way I can get them to listen to tales of the past. Huh. Some history lesson teaching them about a curse. Well, I suppose better a curse than curse words. There are no curse words in the Cherokee language. I know, but you, you've gone and adopted the dirty English ones. Shit, me? <laughs> <laughs>